with humble beginnings in Kailicha, a partially informal township in the Western Cape. Koliswan Tinga's can-do attitude and will to succeed has set her apart from her peers. In July, Ntinga completed an in-depth coding course through Codespace Academy. It was not an easy journey as she faced the challenges of not having equipment and resources to study and practice her homework. That, however, did not stop this exceptional young woman. Whenever we were given work to code, I used to write it on my book. And you wouldn't know if it would work or not. But I would come here in class early and just see if it was working. Ntinga, only a mere 19 years old, explains that the area in which she stays is a tough environment with its community stricken by gangsters, drugs, diseases and poverty. You know, the crime in here is really, really hectic, especially in this environment where I, where I live. You hear cases of young children being raped and the people who, who rape them get away with it. So they're still roaming the street. So it's possible for them to like, be the next victim. If you can't just go to fish water in the middle of the night or go to the bathroom because there's a huge possibility of you not coming back. There have been like cases where people went to the bathroom, went to fetch water and they were mugged and they were killed. So people no longer do that, they only does it during daylight. Ntinga has an incredible drive to make something more out of her circumstances. In grade 8, it was a relief and what Ntinga exclaims a blessing when she was accepted to COSAT, a high school which specializes in math, science and IT. It offered um, that there is more to life than gangsters. If you just work hard, regardless of where you're coming from, and you follow your dreams, you make up your mind of what you really want in life, then you can achieve all great things. She then joined Code for CT when she was in grade 10 and stayed in the program throughout her whole school life. The best part about this search camp is that the equipment is all there, like the resources for you to work is all there. You get to explore different kinds of um, of design thinking, critical thinking on how to go about and solving real life challenges. Emma Dix, founder of Code for CT, explains that their vision is to create a future where young women are able to define the technology that we use every day. As we strive towards greater gender diversity in the technology industry, we need so many more programs that are opening up the possibility for young girls to learn how to code. My vision is to expand beyond Cape Town so that girls across South Africa are able to have the opportunity to learn the skills that will allow them to participate in the exciting world of technology. Ntinga has since joined a female-founded startup, Locumbase, which opts to improve healthcare services in South Africa. Locumbase is a business venture which the Future Vision Foundation developed as another avenue for skills development of young women. Not enough to simply provide opportunities to develop skills, but to also provide opportunities where these skills can be put to use, where uh, entrepreneurial attitudes are cultivated so that these young women can go back to their communities and change the environment for better. I code because I get to know, expand my knowledge more about the technology that is around us, about people that um, are using technology. I code because I believe that I am able to create <laughs> to create work that will change people's lives. Due to technology's ever-changing heartbeats, a coder needs to stay abreast on all the constant changes. This means a lot of time behind a screen and you need to have access to a computer and the internet. Despite having none of this, Kulisa is well on her way to becoming one of the next future leaders in the technology sector of South Africa. For SABC News in the Western Cape, I'm Nina Westhuizen.